Hi, clan friends. Welcome to the first official unboxing of Bloom and Grow YouTube Show. Okay, plant friends. So if you guys have been listening to the podcast, this month's sponsor is Plants by Post. They are an amazing family-owned nursery in California, and they are shipping plants directly from their nursery to your doorstep. So they're cutting out the middleman, and I love them. I've received three different shipments from them in three different states while I was on the road. So you might remember Plants by Post, they made a little bit of a cameo in the home makeover uh, YouTube video that I made and you can click the link below if you didn't watch it because it was really awesome. So they shipped me plants in Chicago, they shipped me plants in LA, and now they've shipped me plants to New York. Every time the plants have arrived in great condition, I love that they try and use sustainable packaging. And so I figured why not show you guys what I've been unboxing since I'm talking about them on the podcast so much. And they sent me some of their best sellers, which are geraniums, so I figured I'll unbox them and then we can do a little geranium plant care basic tutorial for any of you guys interested in bringing some geraniums home. So about the packaging, I love that the boxes all have handles. So if you live on the fourth floor of an apartment building, carrying a big box of plants isn't too hard. Um, so if you notice, the way that all of their packaging comes is the plants are divided and I love that because I know that the plants aren't going to be jumbled around, um, you know, floating around a big box. So everything is very intentional and it's super easy. You just pull these two things out. Everything can fold up and get recycled after. And um, I love geranium so much and this smell is like bringing me back right now. My grandma. Um, lived in Queens. My grandma is like the Italian gardener that I grew up with. Um, she had like a crazy garden in her backyard. But anyway, they had this like closed in patio and it was filled with geraniums. And when I was a kid, like geraniums have like a very specific kind of like soury, what would you say a geranium smells like, Billy? Billy's videotaping. Herby. They have like a very particular- a cross between fresh cut grass and basil. Okay, so Billy says that the geraniums smell like a cross between fresh cut grass and basil, and yeah, it's like kind of sour, but like good, and the leaves, like when you rub them, it just smells so good, and it really brings me back to my childhood. So I always have a geranium in my apartment in my houseplant collection, because I just like that sense memory of, of going back to my grandma's house. So you can see all the beautiful different flowers that they have, and then you simply just pull these guys out, and that's your plant experience. So, boom, boom, boom. And look at all these beautiful blooms. So one thing that I love about geraniums, and you can actually see we have one back there as well. Um, geraniums are really hardy plants and they bloom all the time. So we have kept our geranium in our apartment always under a grow light and the geranium is almost constantly blooming. And I really recommend this, especially in the winter, if you live in a city where it gets really dark and gloomy, getting some sort of, some sort of plant that can bloom amidst all of the tropical foliage is just so nice. And uh, especially when we had it in our bookshelf, these like beautiful red blooms would be like tumbling out of our bookshelf in like February. And it was just a really beautiful little uh, meditative moment watching them bloom, especially in the midst of winter. But like, let's be real, it's nice to have blooms at any time of day or season in your apartment. So, as you can see, this unboxing is super easy. We just fold all of this, we recycle it, we recycle the plastic. This is just twine. Billy and I have gotten into candle making, so we'll probably save this and repurpose it into the candles that we've been making. And then this is a normal plastic grow pot. Um, before I dive into geranium care, I just wanna show you the other plants that I've gotten from Plants by Post 2 because they're amazing. So this I got in my Chicago episode. They have it available on their website. This was a plant that I had been dying for. It's the Sansevieria Moonshine. If you see, it's a Sansevieria, but it's a little bit lighter. And I just think it's so sexy with those kind of dark green edges. And I adore it. And it's been so healthy. It got shipped to me in Chicago. And then I had to travel it home on a plane. So it's been through like a lot of transit and has bounced back and been so hardy. Um, one other Sansevieria that I have from them, which I want to show you. So this is another plant that Plants by Post sent me. I love snake plants, they're my favorite plant and they know this. So this is a Zalonica, but I wanted to point out 
they have a really cool feature on their website where you can buy the plant which comes in a plastic pot and then you can mix and match all of the different cash pose that they have and I really appreciate that since they sell pots with no drainage they ship everything in a plant in a planter that has drainage and you slip it in so when I want to water this plant I don't have to stress about the fact that there's no drainage I simply can just pull out this um, pull out the nursery pot water it in my sink let the water drip dry and then put it back and I really appreciate that about Plants by Post. So, and I love the mix and match. My friend just ordered something for her friend. She went online. I think she picked a Peperomia Ginny, which has the pink edges, and she mixed and matched the pot to whatever her friend's like interior design style was. So I really like that feature about them. If you guys are interested in checking Plants by Post out, you can click the link below in the show notes and use the discount code that they have for 20% off for Bloom and Grow listeners. So let's do a little bit of a geranium care guide. So I have just cared for one, we have two geraniums in our apartment for a couple of years. They're really straightforward, sturdy plants. Um, number one, fun fact is they're called geraniums, but they're really from the Pelargonium genus. So there is a geranium genus, but most of the geraniums that we buy in the store are actually not geraniums. So fun fact, they're Pelargoniums. Um, there's all sorts of different varieties that you can get, all sorts of gorgeous di different flowers. We see we've got this light pink, we've got this beautiful white, and I actually love that all of these plants came in different varieties or different um, moments of bloom. So we have, you know, in this plant we still have buds that are going to open. We have flowers that are open and really are pretty much ready to be pinched back. So I'm going to have a really nice bloom season with all of these unfurling and opening up. So genus Pelargonium, not geranium. Um, these guys love six to eight hours of bright light outside. So you have to know that when you bring them indoors. Um, we have always only had success with geraniums when we put them under grow lights in our apartment. Um, I first had them in my bookshelf uh, little terrarium that I have with the Modern Sprout Grow Bar and now we have it, um, this is my, it's, it's gotten a little bit leggy but it's still blooming like crazy for me and it kind of gets the off put of the grow light from the Modern Sprout Grow House. Um, it has beautiful red blooms, it, it just finished its bloom cycle. So we like to put them under grow lights. If you had a western or a southern facing window, I think that would be the best place to put them if you don't have a grow light. They're gonna want a really good amount of, of direct sun um, if you wanna get that bloom. I mean, they're a beautiful foliage plant too, but if you want that blooming you know, cycle over and over again, you're gonna wanna make sure that these puppies are getting a lot of light. Outdoors, they want six to eight hours of full sun. Some of them want afternoon shade. Indoors, you're really, because the translation from being outdoors to being indoors is, there's so much less light indoors in our environments, you're gonna make sure that, you're gonna wanna make sure that you can just put them in as much light as possible. And it's really just nice to rub their leaves like this and give it a little smell. I have a rose geranium too, and the rose geranium smells so beautiful when you rub it. I like drying them out sometimes too. So you wanna put them in as much light as you can. Um, you want to make sure that they're in quick draining soil like any of your house plants um, when you pop them up. You want to, well from what I've read online, people kind of recommend different amounts of watering. What we do is we water our plants essentially once a week and when we notice the soil start to get, uh, when, the soil, when the soil starts to get dry up to my first knuckle is when I rewater these guys, but I wouldn't say that I nail my watering schedule with these guys. They're, I, I see how they're doing. If they're wilting, I water them. But once a week for me is what works with us having the grow light going on. I think in the summer, we might kick that up a notch. In the winter, we definitely bring it back because they really appreciate a little dormancy moment in the winter. If you have a porch or some sort of outdoor thing, you can totally put your geraniums outdoors and get that summer sun, that spring summer sun, and then bring them in and overwinter them. That's what a lot of people do because they're a little bit more tender. So in New York, they're not going to survive a New York winter. So my mom actually has a ton of geraniums kind of to honor her mom. She has them all on her front porch and on our back deck in the summer. And then she actually puts them in our basement and they don't get that much light, but they'll still bloom for her. Um, and then she puts them back out. So you can do that. And another thing is 
I was doing this without realizing it, but once a bloom is over, you want to do something called deadheading, which is when if a bloom is has bloomed and you see that it's starting to fade, you literally can just go in and pinch back the flowers. And then when this whole thing is done, I'm going to go in and trim this stem with all the flowers on it. So that's called deadheading. And if you do that, it's going to inspire new growth, apparently, from what I read online. This is just what I've been doing naturally because old flowers don't look nice. So I take them off. Um, but apparently you want to do that. So this is just like a little overview of like basic geranium care, especially if you're doing them indoors. But if you haven't tried them before, it, whether it's geraniums or whether it's African violets or whether it's just any type of plant that blooms, I would love for you to try one. There's really nothing like seeing something that is this small, a little bud, and just getting to every day check in on it and watch it open up and open up and open up until you've got like a beautiful flower. And then also there's something poetic with watching that flower die back, pruning it back, and waiting for a new one, you know, experiencing that patience. So I love geraniums. I think you guys should try them if you feel moved to. If this video has inspired you, you can check out the Plants by Post website. Check out the discount code if you'd like. They are our sponsor for the month on Bloom and Grow Radio podcast. So I figured why not bring them to the YouTube family too. And spring is here, plant friends. I hope that you are getting excited for growing season because I really am and I can't wait to bring you more videos about planting up our garden and the spring growth season that is about to be upon us. So until next time, keep blooming and keep growing. Bloom and Grow Radio.